Hello and welcome to a brand new series here at Link to the Cast. This is Dream to the Cast, a look at every single Western release in North America and Europe for the Dreamcast. Um, hopefully this is going to be two episodes a week and in about two years time we will have looked at, yeah, every game that was released in North America and Europe for the Dreamcast. Uh, I am your host, I am Mark. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Lithium Project. What the fuck is on going up with these facial expressions? Oh boy. So, the Dreamcast was released September 9th, 1990. <laughs> I cannot take Sonic seriously. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah. Dreamcast was released in North America, 1999, September 9th, and uh, there are a bunch of games that released on launch day, so we actually have a fair few games that we're going to have to get through on September 9th alone. Uh, the idea is we're going to do these in chronological order. So, uh, obviously on days where there are a bunch of games that released at once, I'm just going to kind of like pick at, uh, at my own whim. Um, but I think it would make sense to start with Sonic Adventure first. Uh, you know, it is kind of like the quintessential Dreamcast game at launch. I'm not sure I would say it is the quintessential Dreamcast game. I, I can make an argument for others. But, um, but you know, we will, I'm sure we'll talk about that as we, we go through the series. I'm not going to do like a big sort of backdrop or backstory on why I'm doing this each episode, but I will start obviously with episode one to kind of give a little bit of context. Because uh, like for myself, I didn't have a Dreamcast um, at growing up, and when I actually did end up buying a Dreamcast several years later, the fucking thing was broken. Um, so I've never actually owned a working Dreamcast. Um, pretty much all of my time playing Dreamcast games has been through ports, you know, to like the PS2, you think of things like Soul Calibur and uh, Crazy Taxi, they would all be things that I would play uh, years later on, on other platforms, and even Sonic Adventure, I don't know about 1, but I'm pretty sure I played a bit of Sonic Adventure 2 Sonic, on the PS2 like as well, so I've got a whole, like, just back catalogue of games here, about 260 odd games for me to look at, and most of them I have no... Uh, affinity for no previous knowledge or experience of so this is gonna be interesting for me uh, I hope that you enjoy this um, if you are someone who was a big fan of the Dreamcast growing up like I will try not to slag off any of the bad games too much but you know if I see things that I don't like about them I will say it um, spoiler alert Sonic Adventure is gonna be one of those games that I'm not gonna have a lot of positive things to say um, and I guess with that we should probably jump into this thing I'm just, I'm just going to put it out there, uh, I don't think a good 3D Sonic game exists. I don't think it would be possible to make a good 3D Sonic game, no matter how many times they try. Um, so, just spoiler alert, I did kind of quickly jump in just to make sure this thing was working, um, but I will start a new file just so we can, you know, get the full flavour of what this is. Options. What do I have options wise? Uh, what is message settings? Voice and text or voice only? No, I think I'm probably going to need the voice and text. Um, but nothing in terms of the, the display settings, so... Okay, whatever. Oh god, right, okay, who the hell am I going to be? Sonic. Running into the void for the next 20 odd years. Ah, oh, man. I kind of have to be Big the Cat, don't I? No, I can't be Big the Cat. No. Oh, God. Is it going to make me have to, like, play through the entire game to unlock characters? Alright, fine. Whatever. I guess we'll just Sonic. Whatever game. Can't give me what I want. Could have given you a whole extra star on my rating for this, but... Oh, well. Never mind. Again, this is 1999. I'm going to try and keep an open mind about certain aspects 
visually and otherwise. Because um, I'm sure, like, you know, if I'd played this in 99, because um, we were still a year or so away from the PS2. So, oh my god, so much attitude. So imagine if I was playing this back then at the time, I'd have, you know, my mind would be blown. Obviously, it wouldn't be quite as, like, smooth looking. Um, God bless emulation to uh, clean out some of these textures. But I'm sure it would be, like, a remarkable thing to, to be playing in 1999. But, um, you know, here I am in 2022 doing this. Pretty sure some of those rings were moving and some of them weren't. Rock on target, man. Ready? Fire! I think part of my issue as well with uh, 3D Sonic games is this real like, and I guess I can admire it to some degree, but this real like vested attempt to actually make a fucking story out of these games. But on top of that as well, the fact that just mechanically I just don't think Sonic games work in a 3D environment. Unlike, say, Mario, where they did port and those games do translate into 3D, but also, you know, they never dived away from the source material. Bowser kidnaps Princess Peach. Um, some of you may say that they should have tried to do something more, but... Oh, you... That is, that is a bad faith argument if I've ever heard one. One thing uh, I will say is that the when I quickly tested to see that this thing was working, the game really doesn't detail in any way how anything works, um, or the fact that you can do like the kind of mid-air dash m move, which really has become like the quintessential move of the 3D Sonic games, and also is my biggest argument for why Sonic 3D games don't work. Like, in that specific mechanic alone, like, that mechanic is an admission that you can't really control where you're going, so you need to use this sort of automatic lock on to the next target to dash to. Um, and I just never found it a, a fun or engaging mechanic to use. Um, you God. know nothing, fool! It's Chaos, the God of Destruction! <laughs> I mean, it's only slightly less campy than Jim Carrey's uh, impersonation. Rendition. Huh? I just... I don't want to make this whole video just me slagging off this game. Because I, I want to try and look for the positives through each of the... Oh, Jesus. Alright, why does he have teeth? I guess we could just start with that. Why does he have teeth? You know? I mean, I didn't learn this 20 years later when we got the uh, first live-action film, but whatever. Alright. I can't talk to people. Can I? It's just immediately as you start playing, you just realize, like, this does not control the... Like, as soon as you start picking up any kind of speed, you have no way to kind of govern where it is exactly you're going to go. And I like the fact that, you know, like, it's basically a level select screen, sort of, but it doesn't really uh, telegraph that to you at all. Anyway, whatever. Let's let's see if we can kind of fucking do something here. So obviously, this is you know an iconic level. It's an iconic uh, moment in video game history. This level, the kind of first real look at Sonic in 3D, um, and obviously we'll have that bit with the uh, the killer whale in a bit when we get to it. But just. 
immediately. Like, the fact there, you know, like... The key thing about a Sonic game, more than anything else, is momentum. That is, the, like, the defining characteristic of the Sonic game. Um, and it's even why I think that, you know, Sonic, the original Sonic the Hedgehog, is okay. But it's one of those things, like kind of like a Mega Man 2, where, you know, they had the idea to some degree, and they, they mostly got it on the original, but then they really nailed it down on uh, on the second attempt, like what they were trying to go for. And Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and that spin dash, and the level kind of layout, like, for the most part, um, you know, speaking to you, Metropolis Zone, but for the most part, they figured it out. And just as soon as you get into this 3D space, like, Little bits like this, and the reason that that whole section there is as iconic as it is, is because you have, for a few moments, this false perception of momentum. Because you're not doing anything, you're just pushing forward. But as soon as you get into kind of bits like this, where the camera's just all over the place, and you just never feel in control, it... I just... I just don't think Sonic should be a 3D game. Um, now, I haven't admittedly played all of the 3D games, um, but that is also because the ones that I haven't played were reviewed really poorly, so <laughs> I didn't want to waste my money. Uh, I, and also, you know, like, not having that ability to move the camera around uh, at free will is, uh, is really noticeable. Oh, Jesus. I want to get up there. And I don't know if the PS2 port actually fixed that, or I, I don't. Is is this on Steam? I have no idea. Um, but I wonder if like there is a dual stick version of this game that gives you a little bit more freedom with the camera, just to kind of move around. just yeah like it's it's a tough thing to do because you want the camera to be fixed on sonic but obviously when he starts bouncing around like that you just you quickly get motion sickness you know and i feel like sometimes the camera just doesn't know where it needs to be uh, but here we are again just me kind of slagging off uh every single aspect of this game and sonic fans out there are just gonna hate me but look this is how i feel All right, it's one of those. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. I got this. I got this. I'm hoping that was the last one. See, that's annoying. Like, I can't turn the camera around, so I can't see where I'm going. But that's, you know, I understand that's sort of a limitation of design for the time, and the fact it was only. Uh, the one control stick, so... Can't scream too much about that. Yes. But hey, we found Tails. So, good job. Good job, Mark. Can't wait till we get to Sonic Adventure 2 in a year's time, and I... My feelings probably won't have changed. Oh, we're doing the ranking of our levels. Right, well, I am not going back for the A rank or S rank. I'm guessing there's an S rank. But you know what? Hey, at least I can give this a Sonic Adventure. It's not as bad as 06. These cutscenes might change my mind on that, though. I just, I can't accept, I have to go and look at like an original version of this game, because I refuse to believe like Sonic was actually made to animate. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, it's unskippable cutscenes. Can I fast forward? Yeah, select. God bless select. Alright. 
Where the fuck am I going? Oh, invisible wall is telling me otherwise. God. And like, when you hit something like this post here, I oh, genuinely, I am stuck to it, you know? Oof. I mean, you know, as if such a thing would exist to train to the Mystic Ruins, but look, I'm not here to... Not here to question these things, I'm just here to play. Or maybe I'm here to question these things, I don't know. Camera is infuriating. Uh, all right, water would get better in the next twenty years. Let's just leave it at that. The train headed for Station Square will be. The Like the water, the water, the the music is pretty ambitious for a Sonic game. Like you wouldn't expect this. Um, <laughs> if it isn't Sonic. One thing I think I, I should go and do, and I'm sure there are videos about it, is I really should try and see like how much of Sonic Adventure was based off of Sonic Extreme, um, which was the cancelled Saturn game. I actually don't know if the top made if Sonic Extreme was meant to be a 2D or a 3D game. Because obviously, you know, they had been toying with Sonic in the 3D space with like Sonic Racers, which isn't tech is it Sonic without Sonic Racers, Sonic R. Um, and also the um, the Sonic Blast, the Flicky's Island one, which is more of like an isometric 3D. But it was obviously something they were, were thinking about and conscious about and wanted to you know, at some point we was gonna get a 3D Sonic game. Um, but yeah, if I'd have done my research, I'd have had the answers to these questions that I'd given myself on air. But, uh, but I will do that off air just for my own, my own curiosity. Alright, I've definitely done this boss before, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing I've played this game to some degree before. Um, because I do remember this. What I don't remember is how I defeat this fucker. Oh, I guess that'll do it. But hey, like, it's pretty cool here, you know. Um, and actually, I think, I think Sonic 3D games kind of work better in a space like this because you have your fixed target, so the camera can't really, like, freak around too much. And Sonic himself doesn't have to worry about kind of colliding into objects and whatnot. So, like, in a space like this, Sonic 3D does work. Um, but it just doesn't work in any other environment other than this. Oh, yeah. Eggman down. But I'm happy that they, they keep the sort of things, like the Eggman bosses, you know, that little jingle that you get at the end of the level. Like, it, it keeps the, the cohesiveness of the Sonic series, so uh, good job there. Good job, Sonic Team, with that one. Well, that wasn't so hard. Ah, uh, Tails. Just constantly being useless. It's not what you do with the Chaos Emeralds, Eggman. 
Oh, right, I see. Oh no, isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? Oh shit, he got jacked. I mean, he looks like something out of the House of the Dead at this point. That, that is what you want to do. You want to destroy Station Square. That is some pretty... I mean, you know, hey, like you're knocking down a city, but that's still... That's pretty low stakes egg, man. You could do better than that. Fucking hell. That would be the one, Tails. That would be the one. <sighs> God, do I keep going? I'll, I'll go for a little bit longer, I guess. Oh shit, we got puzzles and everything. Oh, this control's so bad. Ah. Where am I going with this? Hmm. Yeah, when I'm when I'm holding oh my god. When I'm holding uh this item, the uh his movement just kind of goes out the window. Not great. Going that way. Was it me? Come on, camera, work with me. Okay, no, the water's not too bad. Oh, hello. Did that move? Did that move? Oi, 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 oi. I can't tell if that's uh, that's an emulation issue or just. Whatever. I'm not gonna not gonna stress myself on this too much. Can I grab that? I guess not. How the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> it's not that way, I know that much. I can grab it, right. Uh, I mean, look, Sonic can't swim. Oh, hello. But I can't get up there. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm dropping this. I have no time for this. That's environmental storytelling right there. Like, I have to imagine I can go careening. Oh, thanks. I have to imagine I can go... Oh, Jesus, there's some texture popping going on here. Fucking hell. I, I am absolutely clueless at what I need to do next. Are we, are we still doing that? Are we doing Tails' workshop? This is not much of a workshop.
I mean, I, I'm trying. To, I'm going to try and brute force my way out there, but I'm not seeing how. You know what? You know what? I think I think we're good. I think I've got what I needed here. Oh boy, this is Sonic Adventure. This is the first of what will be many, many episodes on the Dreamcast. Um, please, I hope you will come and join me. Um, it's going to be a mixed bag, I feel. But there's going to be good, there's going to be bad, there's going to be Sonic. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Like, If you played Sonic Adventure growing up, if you are still a fan of it, I want to know why. Um, it must get pretty lonely here. I want to know why, I want to know exactly, you know, if it's things at the time that you still think hold up. Um, I'm, I'm very, very curious. Because I know this game reviewed very well as well, uh, and I've, I've just never seen it, so... Let me know in the comments below if you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm an idiot, you know, just... Hey, just be civil about it. Uh, but we'll leave it there for now, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll just start cracking through all of these September 9th games, and... Um, and see what we find in this little treasure trove. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time.